Hey, hello there, and a very, very warm welcome. Yes, it's Tuesday evening, it's 8 o'clock. That means one thing, and one thing only, the uh, amazing Planet Cruise TV show. Now, uh, tonight's show is actually extra special. Have you always wanted to travel to the Far East, but you thought, I, I don't, don't know how to arrange everything. There's so many things to see and do. Well, we have got the wonderful Wendy Wu with us this hour, and... You're going to see the most amazing exclusive offers. And every deal will give you a wonderful lanta with the most amazing experiences and guides and then a cruise as well. So it is going to be ultra special. I think we're going to learn a lot as well. But before we introduce Wendy, and we've got Glenn with us as well, it's also your last chance to register for our luxury cruise and river show. So last chance to do it. Here's the details from Keith. Okay, get your diaries out because I'm here to invite you to our third annual River and Ocean Luxury Cruise Show, where this year you'll have a chance to win a fantastic five night cruise with Saga Ocean Cruises. Now, because of your great feedback, this year we're back at the Old Thorns Golf and Country Estate in Liphook for another wonderful look at luxury cruising. You'll get a free drink just for showing up, soft or alcoholic, and you'll be entered into the prize draw for that all important Saga cruise. Now, throughout the day, there will be plenty of opportunities for you to talk to over 18 river and ocean luxury cruise representatives about your next cruise. They'll be armed with the best and most exclusive offers in the industry, which you won't find anywhere else, as well as a plethora of free upgrades. Plus, I'll be hosting the Talk Theatre, where your questions will be answered by industry-leading experts and we'll give you the inside info about the latest news and trends in cruising for 2018 onwards. Now the event's going to be held on Thursday the 8th of March 2018 from 10 o'clock to 3 o'clock at the Old Thorns Golf Club in Liphook. Entrance is completely free so all you have to do is register online. But remember, to be in with a chance of winning that amazing Saga Ocean Cruise you need to register online and turn up on the day. After all, you have to be in it to win it. All you need to do is go to planetcruise.com forward slash cruise dash events and follow the instructions. It literally takes 30 seconds. I look forward to seeing you there. That's our lovely Keith. Could he have got a small shirt to wear? <laughs> Seriously. Rupert Bear wants it back. <laughs> <laughs> on his arms. But anyway, um, we have got a really special show tonight. Glenn's with us, of course. So nice to see you again, Hello, Glenn. Yeah. You all right? Yeah, I'm brilliant. Thank you. But we have got the legendary Wendy Wu with Wendy us. Wu so Wendy is Wu in the house. Talks. Yes. Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, Wendy, thank you so much for joining us for this hour. And you've brought us exclusive deals for Planet Cruise. Um, Wendy, I mean, I, I, I feel that I know a lot of the viewers watching will know you because you're the actual founder of Wendy Wu Tours, aren't you? And you've won so many awards. Oh, thank you. Oh, so well, nice. We'll just have a little kind of look at the wonderful world of Wendy Wu Tours here. So, Wendy, tell us a bit about yourself and your company while we're looking at this. Right, OK. We are very much... Uh, specialist tour operator and also uh, escorted tour operator. So what we do is we take people to the iconic and the unique areas of the world where it's remote and slightly difficult. And so, you mostly specialize in Asia, is that right? Yes. Yes. And also we just branched out to South America because it's also iconic and slightly difficult. Uh, and I know the tours that, 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 that everyone experiences, these are incredible tours with the most amazing guides. Yes, we have some of the best guides in the industry and they are wonderful and people write an essay about them, how good they are, <laughs> yes. Um, and I think what I love about, about tonight's show is that a lot of us, when we are, you know, the, the idea of travelling around the far east, we love it, but there's so many things to see and yeah. it's quite hard to organise and know what you're doing normally, well, isn't the, it? Well, the first tour that's got coming up in a moment, I mean, this is going to be a tour of China and I think if you try and plan it yourself and work out how you need to fly, where you need to go to, and you... What you want to do is when you're going over to that part of the world, tick off everything that you want to see, and that's what these yeah. tours do. The good thing is they're fully run by Wendy and her team there. The guides are with you all the time, and you know that you're going to get to see everything while you're there, and that's why they sell so well. And, and Wendy, you, um, tell me about some of the awards that your company's won, because you've, you've, you've won quite a few, haven't you? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Seven years in a row, we, run, we won the Best Specialist Tour Operator of the Year. And also, we won the best escorted tour. 
So, yes, we, we can yeah. be very You are the best. You're, you're, you're the best. best. You are the best. <laughs> so, thank you. If you say so. Yeah, thank you, you are the best. Thank you, thank you. Uh, And I found out earlier, I didn't know, but I found out earlier, yeah, Wendy didn't want me to tell you this, but I think it's great. You're actually in the Travel Hall of Fame now, aren't you? Yes. Yay. Yes. <laughs> and I'm the, one of the only six women out of uh, the entire sort of a kingdom of uh, men. <laughs> really? <laughs> anyway, so let's begin. So we are, we've got so much to tell you. We, 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 we are worried we're going to run out of time today. So this is our, our first uh, cruise for you, and it's a, it's a biggie. It is a biggie, this one. We're going to start as we mean to go. Uh, 23 nights, and it's the 50-night wonders of China tour and Southeast Asia tour. So it starts off with a flight to Beijing, doesn't That's it? That's correct, yeah. So we're going to have our flight over to Beijing first. And, and literally, this is going to be from the UK, and this is going to fly in. And here we're going to have three nights in Beijing here, aren't we, to start the cruise, yeah. uh, to start the package. <laughs> That's right. In Beijing, you get to see all the things you want to see. Yeah, for example, the Tiananmen Square and the Forbidden City, Summer Palace, Temple of Heaven, and also, of course, the Great Wall. Which is, of course, the main, one of the main things to see there that people want to go Oh, to. yeah. Yes. And one thing special that is, I think, showing you I love, that's the Rexall ride, and then we take you to the back alley and to visit the families to really get deep into the culture. So you yeah. really go into the culture and history and meet everybody there. Yeah. Now, the Great Wall, we don't see all of it in one day. <laughs> <do we? laughs> you can see it. You can try. Yeah. I, was doing my, I was doing my research. It's 13,000 miles along with all the different sort of shoot-offs of it and stuff like that. So, I think so you get a taste of it, yeah. You get a taste yeah. of it, yeah. yeah. So this is a great opportunity to do this. And as I said, you're going to be doing Beijing there. You've got the Tiananmen Square, Forbidden City, and, of course, the Great Wall. And then from there, we're going to fly to Xi'an. And, and what are we going to see in Xi'an? Okay, the Terracotta Warriors, which is one of the ace wonders of the world. Yep. And after that, you see the best preserved ancient war. And to me, that's the yeah. best kept secret. And I think both of you, once you get onto that ancient war, you never want to get off because you, you can ride a bicycle, right? It's actually 20 meters wide. And you 20 can do... meters wide? Yes. Wow. And it's the war that no war or gun can ever knock it off. Down. Really? Yes. Anyway. Now, they do, you're, mm -hmm. we're doing something else that's a bit different here, aren't we? We're adding something extra in which we haven't featured before, and it's something to do with the Emperor's Wus the, um, Mausoleum. Yes. The that's reason, easy to the, say. <laughs> 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 the yeah. reason why it's so special, because this place, in the history of China, 5,000 years, there's really only one ruling empress who is a female ruling at her own right, and that's Empress Wu. And only for Planet Cruises, uh, customer and the passengers, we're going to take them to her Muslim. So it's very special. Very special. And we've not featured that before. No, we, we have haven't. featured no. this before. <laughs> now from there, obviously, we want to keep uh, keep everyone entertained throughout their duration. We're going to fly down to Wuhan, and this is where we're going to pick up a four-night Yangtze River cruise as well. Yes, and it's a perfect and, thing. And we're just having a look at the river cruise now. Yes. And this is going to take us all the way uh, along to the Three Gorges and to the dam, aren't we? Yes. And also, it's just a perfect in the middle you have this cruise. Because, you know, in Beijing, in Xi'an, you see so much. Yeah. It's uh, busy. But you have downtime here. Relax and enjoy everything. I mean, this looks, yes, yeah, so tranquil, doesn't it? It's yeah. nice because there's so much included in this package. This is quite a little bit more of a chill out experience yeah. there before we, we then head on from there. But as I said, something very different. And as I said, that's the dam there that we're actually going to go and see, isn't yeah. it? Again, this yes. is a real kind of bucket list trip, isn't it? You yeah. know, there's so many big, big things that you're going to see and experience. So the river cruise is four nights, isn't it? That's correct, four yeah. nights on there. And then once we've done the river cruise, we're then flying up to Guiling. Now, we were talking about this before. Can I ask? Because, as I said, you're the expert. Why would people, and I can see the pictures now, why would people want to go to this oh, part of the world? Well, it looks beautiful to start, <laughs> doesn't it? Yes. It is uh, this uh, picture. It's just one of the sort of uh, so many pictures of the Lee River. You have a uh, water buffalo and you have uh, idealist sort of uh, the villages along the river. But at the end of the river, there's a small charming town of Yangshou. And 95% of, of our passengers will tell you, they love Beijing, they love Shanghai, but their most favorite place in China 
is Yang Shou. Really? Yes. And we're going to include that in there for you, which yes, is something. Very so again, with that one, we have a transfer then to, um, once we've done that, to Shanghai. We've got a two-night stay there. We've also got, um, I think, a, a river cruise included on this one, which is one of the excursions. Which is a two-nighter, isn't it? Two-nighter on there. And we're going to talk a little bit later. We also do the Yu Gardens yeah. in Shanghai. Yeah. Just sorry, Sean no, and no, the okay. Just yeah. uh, need to stay to, to the... Yeah. What happened? That cruise is a stunning cruise. On the one side is colonial Shanghai, on the other side is modern, futuristic, so yeah, Pudong. But it's a just a one hour cruise at night. And and um, just talking about Shanghai, yes. Um, tell me a little bit about the the U Gardens. Well, the U Gardens are an excursion that you've included on here, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yu Garden is very special. It's uh, one of the finest the oriental garden in China. So I'd love that one, yeah. So if you, you love, love gardens. Garden. Yeah, I love the gardens, you see. All yeah. the little trees and the rockery and the uh, waterway are the special features of oriental garden. So you will like it. So, um, yeah, that I'd really Now, really just, just to let you know, we're on day 16 yet. We haven't even got to the cruise. No, we haven't, yeah. <laughs> just yeah. to let you know. Yeah. So what we're going to do, we're going to then go from there. We're going to transfer to Hong Kong. Again, the bustling hub of Hong Kong. We do a lot of our, um, lot of our packages, do pre and post stays in Hong Kong. We've got a one-night stay there. And then from there, once we've done that, we've finished with the Wendy Wu section of the, uh, of the land tour. Yes. Now, just to let you know, the other thing with this one, people always ask about tips. Tips are included through the whole of the Wendy Wu package and also the meals on there. I think you get breakfast, yes. lunch and dinner. No. Every meal, because it is 100% handheld experience. We look after you every step of the way. So every yes. single part of that, all of the, say, all of the, the transfers, the hotel stays, flights. the tours, the flights, the it's food, all included. tips, all included. And your, and your guides. Wow. And, and evening entertainment as well. Entertainment as well. Yes. <laughs> um, and then... And then we go on to the ship. Yes. <laughs> We'd almost forgot about the cruise, but um, you are going to have a wonderful five-night cruise on board the Sun Princess. And what's nice about this, having the short cruise is your chance to relax, but we are going to go to a couple of ports of call on here, and we're going down into Vietnam. So we're going to Nha Trang, first of all, down in um, the south of Vietnam, and this is more coastal, beautiful beach area there for you to, to relax and take it easy. Do a bit of sightseeing as well. You can also take the cable car. And once we've done there, we then go down into Ho Chi Minh. Ho Chi Minh, which is a place that I think, again, many people want to go and see. A number of things, the former Saigon, you've got a chance there to go to Independence Palace. You go to the War Remnants Museum. You can also go to the Coochie Tunnels, which we talk about a lot of the time there. And I do think you need to go and experience that. Um, now, you will get to see um, Princess Cruises in more detail further on in the show. Later, yeah. But we've got a few images of the beautiful Sun Princess right now. I cruised a princess the other year and the standards were amazing. Princess have got a very high reputation. Yeah, we class them as four star, it. deluxe, five star, depending yeah. on how you how you feel about them. But they are a great, great way to relax at the end of the, uh, the, uh, the package. You think you've been away for 23 nights, you've done all that at the start, and then just chill out. Nice to have a couple of ports of call down into Vietnam, but just think what you're seeing within this whole package. Um, I mean, it is a trip of a lifetime. As I mentioned, you know, it's, I've got, I'm sure many of our regulars have got lots of, uh, say, bucket lists, but this ticks off a lot, doesn't it? Does. It does, it does. And the good thing is, you know you're secure with, with Wendy Wu Tours, yeah. your, your food's included, you know they're going to look after you and transfer you from airports to hotels. Well, yeah. just to, to recap, so you've got a 50-night escorted wonders of China tour, and that was all of your food, that's all of your tours, um, all Wonderful of your tips guides. as well, yeah. yes, and the guides. <laughs> Wonderful guides. Yeah. And then a five-night cruise. Uh, you've got all of those stays, some amazing places there that we talked about. Uh, we've called it, yeah, a bucket list adventure uh, with the Great Wall, the Terracotta Warriors, and much more, and your return flights as well. And all your meals, as I just mentioned, are included in the tour as well. And there's going to be some really exciting food. Um, the ID number for that one, by the way, is 167. It always turns around, just about to read out. <laughs> zero, 030. Zero. But um, if you haven't just joined us, yes, it's a very special show with Wendy Wu Tours, who have been working with Planet Cruise for three years now. So everything on the show is a TV exclusive. Can I just say as well, though, Sean, we have got. If you go onto our website tonight as well, if, if the five, five tours we're featuring not for yourself, there's a Wendy Wu site on there you can click in. Yeah. And I think we've got 16 different packages over various dates. So we've got things to tailor-make and suit your needs. And, and we should say to, to all of our regulars as well, if you're, um, 
if you think, you know, oh, Sean and Glenn, you know, I, I'm, I'm looking for my Mediterranean cruise, I want to go around the Norwegian fjords, all the regular cruises are still on our website, of course. So, you know, we still have everything available, but we just wanted to bring you an extra special show tonight, featuring, of course, the Far East <laughs> uh, and some wonderful places. But we're, we're going to move on to, ah, oh, no, this one's good, isn't it? This is good, isn't it? We yes. like this one. We like this one. Now, this we, is orangutans in Borneo. Isn't we don't it? tend to feature Borneo too much. Do we, we don't. No. You don't, you don't do your seven night four nine nines over to Borneo, do you? So it's a little bit different on here. This is with Voyage of the Seas. This is with Royal Caribbean, and this is something I know we featured this last year or a similar sort of package, and it sold very, very well. But this is going over to Borneo. It is now the cruise is at the end of the trip, but let's have a little look at Borneo to start with. Now, have a, let's have a. A, a little word from Wendy. <laughs> yeah, Bunyo is a place, a paradise for the natural lover yeah. and the plantation, vegetation and the wildlife. Yeah. yeah. So. And they, they do say this has got the, the world's richest ecosystem in such a small area and you have a chance to go into the rainforest there. And of course the highlight of this one is of course going to see the orangutans and the, and the sun bears. Yes, and also go to the Mount Kinabalu, which is just so stunning and beautiful and unique, that mountain. Yes. Um, <laughs> so, so I'm just looking here. Yes, yes, that's the rank of 10. You can really get to quite... And do you know what? I can, I can read Glenn's mind. He looked at that orangutan and then looked at me. <laughs> you did? No need to go all the way down there, do I? Honestly, <laughs> <laughs> give them, oh, give them a banana. Uh, anyway, <laughs> behave. <laughs> so, we've got our flight from London on this one, haven't yeah, we? Well, again, with all of these, we always say London, but again, our team in the office can repackage this if you want to fly Manchester, Birmingham, Glasgow. We've got you know, Emirates and very different airlines flying down there. So don't just right. restrict yourself to London. We can do that for you. But this one's going to take you into Okota Kinabalu, and this is going to be the start of your package, Wendy. Yes. And we're there for uh, two nights, aren't we? Two nights stay on this right. one. Yeah. Now, tell me about the tours here, because we've got the Pouring Hot Springs and the National Park, haven't we? Yes. The National Park, of course, is rich with all the different plants and lots of works in the, in the park, which is great. And uh, you can see lots of wildlife. Yeah. Yeah. But then the key is actually go to Mount Kinabalu. And then the key is to see the Rangatan. And the Rangatan over there, they're just plenty for it. Oh, yeah. uh, look at that, look. Look at that, separated at birth. Look at that, look. <laughs> Yeah. And uh, Look at it that. Is, yeah, thanks. <laughs> is that the worst Tinder date you've ever had? Could have been a lot worse. Uh, anyway, <laughs> it's very easy to say that. It's a, and yeah. a plenty. You will we, get. We a, were just talking about this earlier with the orangutans. Sometimes you go on these safaris and things like that, and you do struggle to see. You're yeah. saying there are plenty. orangutans everywhere. Yes. Lovely. Yes. Excellent. You will, okay. you will have a so with this one, we're going to do the orangutans first of all, the sanctuary there, and then we're going on to the sun bears as well, aren't yes. we? Yes. And then, after the sun bear, then we will actually go uh, fly back. And then also do boat trip. Yeah. Because uh, in Borneo, it's a four of the rivers and yeah. all this waterway. You get really get into the jungle and yeah. experience the wildlife. And what's the dining situation on that? Is it still meals included on this one? Yes. There's a jungle restaurant lunch, isn't yeah, there? Yeah, which is amazing. It's on the riverside. You see the most beautiful view and you can almost he you hear the birds, you hear the water. So it's oh, really good, really God. good. Yes. I'm okay, getting excited here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then you get the, the one night riverside lodge stay, don't you? Yes. Once again, it's on the bank and you are in the natural, na totally sort of mixed with nature, yes. Amazing. Yeah. Um, now, mm -hmm. remember the, this, you know, everything is arranged beautifully for you because we then have a river cruise, don't we? That's right, a river cruise, yeah. and we're staying um, actually there, aren't we? And we've got a two night stay, I think, there as well, haven't we? Correct. And then you will, um, what's the goal is to go back, and then what we do is we will go to an island, and that island, will enable you once again to see this uh, beautiful scenery, white sand beach, pristine, and then also the, just the pristineness of the nature over there and the, before you really finish the tour. And then what's nice yes. about this is you, you've had the, the, the nature and going sort of back to basics, and then from there we go to one of the most modern cities in the world, we, and we're then gonna fly down to Singapore. Singapore, absolutely. And you've actually got a two night stay 
in Singapore. I was in Singapore last year, but I only was there a day. You need and to do. I think you need to enough. do a minimum of two days. Yeah, there's there's yeah. a lot to see there. And again, with with Singapore, you've got uh, the Marina Bay Sands now, the new hotel, which a lot of people go and see the Infinity Pool. You've also got raffles. You can go over to Sentosa Island. Yes. Um, and again, you can just do your shopping. Obviously, it's one of the best places to shop in. Cleanest city in the world, or one of the cleanest cities in the world. And it is a, a very very interesting place. But you give yourself a couple of days yeah. to go there, and that's what we've included in there for you. But you can see it's a stunning place to go and see, and it and it's where culture does meet the new modern uh, architecture that. They have there so uh, the, the hotels we put you in in Singapore are, are normally down on sort of the Orchard Road area or very very good location so very easy to go and explore yeah. and see as much as you possibly can and it's just nice to have a bit of free time though as well too, exactly yeah and as I said all these land tours are very very interesting but they're quite intense aren't they there's a lot to see because yes. you're there for the short time so yes. when you come back into Singapore you've got obviously during the daytime but of course the city comes to life at night time so it's, it's very interesting um, and then you actually embark the Voyager of the Seas for a seven night cruise. And let's just give you a little taster of life with, of course, Royal Caribbean. My very first cruise was with Royal Caribbean. They're always good. As I said, they're so, so popular now. Yeah. And this is based over in this part of the world. The, the ship has still got many of the facilities on. It's got the rock climbing wall and the things that make it synonymous with Royal Caribbean. Like the ice skating. Yeah, ring exactly. And, yeah. And, the, and the service is always second to none. I like the restaurants on there. They have a variety of different um, included restaurants and obviously a uh, small feed restaurant. But again, the staff are very, very good on there. The ship is great quality. Entertainment's always good in the oh, evening really as well. Good. And really I think, good. as I said, it, it's so nice doing the, the, the Borneo to start with, then your Singapore, then to have the seven day cruise. And the itinerary they're doing on there is going to some of the big destinations in this part of the world. Um, and, and, and the great thing with Royal Caribbean, I always say this, there, there is something for everybody. It yeah. is. If you want a, a busy time, you can have a busy time. If you want to chill and relax, you can chill and relax. And I love the Royal Promenade. I always think that's a, it is a wonderful street. First time I ever it? saw that on the ship, I was just blown away. Same here. Yeah, I'd never, when the ships I'd worked, I'd never had that. So when you're walking along there, it's like a, a walking, floating sort of shopping centre yeah. going down there. But it, it's got everything for you, as I said. Entertainment is really, really good at night time. And, and like we said, it, it's a, a ship that's designed for all ages and all sorts of uh, whatever you want from And holiday. for wow, and it will certainly wow and dazzle you. But let's, uh, let's have a look at some of the, the great ports that we're going to be visiting. Now here we're going to go into a place called Port Klang. Port Klang is obviously the port area itself, but you really want to sort of either stay in this part of the world, but go into Kuala Lumpur, into the centre. And the main thing I would say that a lot of people want to go and see is the Petronas Towers. We were there, that's what we went to see when we were there. Really, that's the Petronas there Towers there. They're really, really fascinating. And as I said, if you do book a slot, you can actually walk across the bridge in the middle there. But they are stunning. And, and as I said, you've still got the, the old cultural history of the temples and the things, but you've also got the modern architecture as well. And then is it Penang? Yeah, they're moving on to Penang. Now, Penang, we were there uh, about three years ago. And Penang, there's quite a few things to see. You've got uh, the Kilok Sea Temple, which was a beautiful temple to go and uh, uh, view. Um, you've got temple, uh, the temples in abundance there. The place we went to is Penang Hill, which gives you great views across Penang itself. Or again, you can just chill out on the beaches in this part of the world. If you do love your beaches, you've got Langkawi. Now, Langkawi is famous for a number of things. Again, beaches and the water there is beautifully crystal clear. We just went there and chilled out on the beach for the day. Um if, I mean, after the week we've just had. I'm yeah, just, you, you know, might I just want a bit of relaxation and just to chill out on the beach. But you've also got the cable car, which is really interesting to go and see there. So that's quite uh, fascinating. And again, all of these destinations are so very, very cheap to eat and drink out. So yeah. make sure you do that as well. Then we're going to a really great, great port of call, which is Phuket. And the good thing with this one, you've got two days there. So again, you can experience Phuket in the evening. You can go and see it during the day. You've got the bustling markets, do a bit of haggling and bartering. Also, we did the elephant trekking there. You can do the elephant riding if you want to, or if you just want to go and chill out on the beach with a couple of beers, relax and take it easy before uh, getting back on board. A chill out day at sea, and then you head back then into Singapore. Now again, when you look at what's included uh, in this, it is absolutely incredible. So you've got the, the five night Escorted Borneo Lan uh, 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 around the land tour and the seven night cruise back. Get my teeth in. <laughs> uh, you've also got uh, the orangutan sanctuary, as we talked about. Uh, the two night stay in Singapore, return flights, and that overnight on board in Phuket as well. Uh, and the ID number for this one is 172211. Um, by the way, I forgot to mention everything on tonight's show is a deposit only as well. So, Which is good. Because these are big trips, you know, these are trips of a lifetime, so it just allows you to book tonight, 
just for small deposit. And then and what then people do, a lot of people are doing it now, is they're paying it off. So if it's not yeah, for yeah. another 18 months, you can set up a direct debit or you can just pay it off. And then you're not getting that bill sort of, you know, 16 yeah. weeks before to pay, which is nice. But it does give you, yeah, a lot of time to plan, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, and look forward to it as well. Yeah. And do your research because, again, these places that you need to make the most of that when you're there, aren't you? You might only go mm. there once. So you, when you're there, you want to make the most of your time. But the great thing is with when, when do we, we've got everything, everything all the great cool. guides, yeah. everything's organised and planned for us. Yes. Um, and you're going to get to see and experience the very best. Anyway, <laughs> it's Princess Cruises next, isn't it? Yeah, we're back to Princess Cruises on this one. And this one's going to be on the Sapphire Princess on this one. So I think we're featuring three different Princess Cruises over our uh, duration today. But this one is going into Anchor Wat and down into Siem yeah. Reap. And this has become, just from my side at the moment, people are doing the Thailand packages or the Far East packages. But this Siem Reap is such a, a great add-on now. And as I said, we've got it as a three-day experience. Yes and uh, Glen Shong, the three days experience of Angkor is uh, the finest because people always love to be in the Angkor in San Rip area. Yeah. But there are so many temples. In fact, there's hundreds of temples in San Rip. But we choose the three of the finest, the most fascinating one, and for you to view in the first day. Well, we're just having a, a little taste here, aren't we? Yeah. Yes. So I think obviously people want to go to Angkor Wat. That's obviously the, the main place that want to go to. But what are the other temples that we take them to? Angkor Wat is yep. the most, the best known. It's big, it's grand. And then the next one is the Bayan Temple and yep. it used to be called Angkor Thom. And then that is also very old and very ruined, but with a smiley face. Yeah. Then the next one is the Temple Rung. Yep. The Temple Rung is the one which is in the Tomb Rider. In the lower Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yes. Now, we were talking about this because this oh. has been almost overtaken with the vegetation, hasn't it? By the, by the nature. The tree roots in, eventually just really, you can see it's going to turn, turn this uh, temple apart. And you can see the power of nature over whatever man and, and what they say is, I mean, I know people have gone there, they say uh, sunset or sunrise over Angkor Wat is something you should always go. It's yeah. one of the, again, a bucket list thing. Yeah, it's an awe-inspiring and jaw-dropping experience. The light. In fact, you can st spend all day just in Angkor Wat, just watch the sunlight change yeah. and the impact are totally different. And we've got two tours included in this. So we've got the Angkor Wat tour, which gives you the, the tour of the com all three of the complexes, don't we? Yes. And then also we've got in the evening, Evening, which we were talking about uh, the street night the food yes the street food by night tour I'd love that yeah I really would yeah, you, you get to see all the local ingredients yeah. in the market and you got to try local food which is wonderful wonderful and then the best part I felt is actually you have the next two days free then you can go back to really enjoy yeah. the part which you love yeah. the most and I can assure you everybody will love that's the problem with the ship so isn't it if you do one day there you mm -hmm. see what you want to think, oh, I want to go back, but then you're sailing to another. If you've Correct. got three days there, you can do the tour yeah, the first yeah. day, and then you've got plenty of stuff to go and see. Yes, I think this is the part that people will love most. So, uh, say, so after your uh, street food by night tour, you'll be uh, you'll transfer to the airport, you'll fly to Singapore, you've got two nights there, two as nights we Singapore. mentioned. We've talked about to do, that already. Yeah, to do what day at leisure. Uh, yep. What you, uh, there's a lot to do there. Um, but then, don't forget, you've got a ten-night cruise with Princess. And we said we'd, uh, we'd share a little bit more about with Princess Cruises, so here's Jade to give you a tour. Regardless of which Princess Cruises ship you get on, you'll find yourself with a host of dining, entertainment and relaxation options to suit your needs. Whether you prefer the traditions of set time dining or you prefer to pick when, where and who you eat with, the option is yours on board a Princess ship. Princess Cruises have always taken speciality dining to the next level, from the sumptuous steaks in the Crown Grill through to the incredible Italian flavours of Sabatini's. The first of two new offerings is Steamer's Seafood, where you can feast on amazing shellfish, all accompanied by generous sides and dipping sauces. The second new taste sensation is Planks, serving up American-style barbecue options on planks, loaded with four meats, chilli, coleslaw and fries, Oh, and some really incredible looking desserts. Princess Cruises love looking after the whole family during your cruise. Camp Discovery offers three different age categories and areas, all themed in collaboration with the Discovery Channel. Children aged 3 to 17 will have everything they need to keep them amused for hours at a time. Whichever Princess Cruises ship you go on, you are sure to find something entertaining happening. 
from the street performers in the piazza through to the full Broadway style productions in the Princess Theatre. But this is Princess, so we can't talk about entertainment without mentioning the movies under the stars up here on deck. Whichever stateroom you pick, you'll get comfortable beds, a flat screen TV, mini bar and bathroom with shower. If you're looking for a bit of extra outside space, then an upgrade to a balcony is a must. For that touch of luxury though, suites are the perfect option, offering you extra space and amenities in your room and complimentary access to the Lotus Spa Thermal Suite, amongst other exclusive benefits. Do you know, Sonny noticed the price on this one. It's really, really low, good, isn't it? Yeah, really good for what it is. Unlike me not to notice the price. But yeah, yeah. Course, and a bargain. <laughs> that is amazing. And actually, we've got the outside uh, for just £100 more as well. Yep, yeah, exactly. Very, yeah. very good deal. Um, even the mini suite actually is just over two thousand five hundred, which is very good amazing. Price for mini, suite, yeah. mini suites are great with Princess, but I've, I've stayed in one once. Really good. <laughs> what a surprise! Hey, <laughs> it's been great. I've done it all, you know. I, but the, the started mini in cargo, moved up to suites. <laughs> I've done everything. Do you yeah. know what? Um, inside cabins can be great as well. They yeah. really can. But yeah, the mini suite is really nice. With Princess <laughs> can go for it. Anyway, <laughs> let's uh, let, now some of the destinations that we've already talked about. But you've got two days at sea to enjoy that beautiful ship. Yeah. But then we're visiting Bali, aren't we? Yeah, going into one of my favourite destinations of Bali. Been there many, many times before. And there's a lot to see in Bali. Again, you could do the elephant trekking. You can go over to uh, some of the temples they have there. We tended to go out and so you can go down into Kuta and Seminyak if you want a bit more shopping and, and bartering and haggling. If, you, if you've sort of seen enough temples, you want to try something a bit different. Bali's got something for everyone and it's always bustling. It's very, very busy. It's not that far away from Australia, so a lot of the Australians are yeah, there as well. Course, so yeah. you've got that quite yes. nice mixed culture on there, but you've got plenty of things to see there and they've got some great beaches down there. Now from there we've got then a couple of more days at sea, so that's right in the middle, Bali. And then we go into the ports of call that we discussed before. So we've got Port Klang for Kuala Lumpur. Mm -hmm. We then go on to Penang. Then down into Phuket, you've just got the one day in Phuket on there. Then a chill out day at sea and then we head back into Singapore and that's where obviously you'll be disembarking and making your way home. Um, I, I think the value on this one tonight is amazing. So just to recap here, you've got the a three night stay in Siam Reap there, you've got two nights in Singapore, and you've got all of those amazing escorted tours with Wendy Wu, of course. And they will be amazing, say, when, Wendy, if you just joined us, is with us for, for this very, very special show. And um, in fact, Wendy, I just want to reintroduce you, because I know some viewers might have just joined us, but you are a multi-award winning specialist tour operator, and you're the founder of the company. <laughs> yes, uh, <laughs> yes. We, and, and why do you think you've won so many awards? Uh, because our service is uh, in this area is second to none, mm. and our expertise are second to none. Possibly the best thing about us is actually our guides. Yes, yep. they are fantastic. Yeah, our, our and that does make such a difference. I mean, I'm not being funny, but we've all been on tours where the guide hasn't really known a lot. Of, yeah, you know, or well, they've got someone in at the last minute. Yeah, you know. and you think, oh, I'm not learning anything. But your guides are outstanding in their knowledge. That's right. Knowledge. They are caring to our customers, mm -hmm. and also the passion they have yes. to show the customer, yeah. our uh, customers, what this. Uh, culture is about, history about. So therefore, our customer get to experience the in-depth culture and also get into the local <laughs> and also learn so much and have wonderful time at the same time. So they are very, very good. But of course, our team in London, they are good too. They, they know everything. <laughs> they look after you. Yes. <laughs> so, um, you know, tonight's show is all about, if you just joined us, it's all about experience in the Far East. It's very, very best. And everything being worked out for you because, you know, some of us might be a bit nervous, apprehensive, but yeah. when everything's organised and you've got, you, you know, everything's been handpicked and chosen, yeah. you know you're going to have a great time and not have to worry about anything. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. And enjoy your holiday. Exactly. That's the whole point. Uh, now, I've been on holidays, I've not planned it and you've, you know, having to sort out your own coach transfers or trains and things like that. But the good thing is the guys are in the office till 10.30 tonight. I'll be back in tomorrow morning, but the guys are going to be there as well and they can, they can walk you through it Haven't as well. Haven't you just won another award? Me? Not yeah. you. No, not you. <laughs> not you. Can you not see me? <laughs> <laughs> no, we, we've just won. I'll read it. We won the Gold Trusted Service Award by Trustpilot, which are fantastic. And they're an external company that rates companies based on their customer service. We've got 90% as well. So we've just won another award. And just remember, whatever you book with us, we're all abs and atoll protected. We will look after you throughout and as I said you're secure with us you know yeah. whether you book a Wendy Wu package or any of our crews on our website we're always there to look after you right
So you are in very, very safe hands tonight. Now, uh, the next cruise is with Celebrity. Did I mention I'm doing a Celebrity cruise next week, by the way, Glenn? Yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, so I won't be on the show. Oh, good. Yeah. OK. Um, <laughs> he never is. But we've, <laughs> we, 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 we've got the most amazing uh, Celebrity cruise on the board the Celebrity Millennium, and it's the 22 night Terror, Cotter Warriors in Shanghai to Beijing and Tokyo experience. It's amazing, this one. But it starts off with a flight from London. And we're going into Xi'an on this one. So this one here, we've got a two night stay here. And what are we going to be doing in Xi'an? Yes, in Xi'an is one of the oldest ancient capital city in China and the serve the country the longest as well. You possibly didn't know. It's not Beijing, it's actually Xi'an. Really? Right. I... Yeah. Yes. And also another thing. Another and and yeah. this is where we're going to get to see the Terracotta Warriors, isn't it? Yes, that's uh, Terracotta Warriors and also Sean and Glenn. Did you know that Terracotta Warriors, in fact, right now, some of them are in the UK. Yeah, yeah, you told me. Are they on holiday? Uh, <laughs> yeah, they are on holiday. That's in right. Is it in Liverpool? Yes. That's right, in the Liverpool, in the National Museum of Liverpool. And I highly recommend so, all your audience go there to see it. Now, you only get to see is it a dozen in Liverpool. Correct. And how many are they? Over there in Xi'an is 6,000, and we are digging out more. 6,000? Yes. yes. And it was something like, so it's 6,000, and it was something like, 600 horses or 800 horses that are there. That's and right. Ridiculous. 6 on just all these unique individually sort of made terracotta warriors. I, mean, I still, I just find it fascinating. Yeah, right. yeah, absolutely. It's one of the eighth wonders of the world. Yeah. But however, I do recommend anyone who has never seen it before do go to Liverpool because over there the terracotta warriors are displayed like an art form. Oh, okay. And you get to be very up close personal with them. Almost you can touch it. Wow. Whereas over there in Xi'an, then it is the excavation site, you have the share size. So go to Liverpool, then go to yeah. Xi'an, do this one. So if you want a budget, yes. Liverpool. <laughs> <laughs> if you've got a couple of quid, over to China. <laughs> there you go. Easy. I, I want to see all 6,000. <laughs> yes, um, it's a different, yes. <laughs> then you're going to be uh, transferred to the airport and flown to Shanghai for Go two nights. Two nights in Shanghai here. So again, with this one, we've got the Yu Garden and the Buntal included yes. on this one for you. Yes. And again, as I said, I think we talked about it earlier, it is a phenomenal place to go and see. Yes, the Yu Garden, like China, is a, especially in the Yu Garden, is one of the finest Oriental garden you would ever see. And what's special about the Oriental garden, they are unlike your sort of beautiful English garden, the Oriental Garden has to have rockery and has to have a water waste and a bridge and also have to have a pavilion. So all these mix together to create the perfect visual sensation. And that is your garden. That's why you've it's got really to see beautiful. it. Beautiful, yes. beautiful, yeah. yes. Our gardens have been covered in snow, so they're not looking very good <laughs> on the map. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you've got the Yew Garden and the Bunto, as I mentioned, and yes. then You've actually got a 14 night cruise with celebrity. Um, oh, only six days till I'm on here. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going uh, on the Millennium? Uh, no, I'm not. No, yeah, no. Uh, reflection. Reflection. Yeah. Okay, lovely. But all celebrity ships, um, you're always going to have five star modern luxury. Yeah. You're always going to have the most amazing design, service, food. Again, they're multi award winning. Um, I love the entertainment. I love the dining. We just have a look at the uh, so the main dining experience. Yeah, I mean we talk about we talk about celebrity a lot, you know, nearly on every show. So people know it. They know the level of service on there. And I always say people tend to put one celebrity cruise and they come back time yeah. and time again, which you, you know is always a, a good sort of gauge on there. But restaurants are, are very modern. They're very quirky. Um, and as I said, they do look at their yeah, cuisine there. Yeah. Um, I know celebrity have invested a, an awful 18 lot. Eighteen shows, I think they put. On yes, the brand new shows. And their shows are. The, I think they're better than West End. They are, right? Yeah, exactly. And very quite and adventurous. And that Martini well. Bar, you've been there once or twice. I you? certainly have. Yes. <laughs> um, it's got but a plaque. Is that again? You've got a plaque. Have you? <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, yeah, I, I'm a big fan of Celebrity, and I know you can have the most amazing trip, but we get to see some really exciting places. We do, today, yeah. Right? So we've got some different destinations to go into on here. So we're going to start off, first of all, with a chill-out day, and then from there we go into Seoul. Again, very, very interesting. People may not have been there before, but great destinations to see. Again, you've got your temples, you've got um, the historic, you've got the palace and the towers. Good for shopping as well, but it's a great time to go in this part of the world. And as I said, it is very, very different to some of the other ports of call we've gone to. But as I said, very, very interesting. And I would recommend doing a tour here to go and see as much, much as you possibly can. Once we've done Seoul, we have a, a relaxing day because you're going to need it because you're going into the crux of the tour. Now, this is not through Wendy Wu, but I just want to ask, they've got two overnights in Beijing, so three full days. How would you plan your three days in Beijing? I would actually spend the first day to see the city, so the Forbidden City and also the Tiananmen Square and also maybe the Futong area, that's the first day. Yep. And the next day, of course, go on the Great Wall yeah. and the, in Wu Tianyu section. How, much, how far is it from, from the port to the Great Wall? From the port to Beijing itself will take about an hour and a half. Okay. And from the city to the wall will take another an hour and a half. So really it's going to be a full day tour when you go full to day. the Great Wall. Yeah. And then on the third day, we were talking about it earlier, maybe just relax yeah. and go into town and do what you need to do. That's right, chill out. Chill out. Step. Yeah, but not many, not many cruises give you the three days there within the middle of a cruise. So, so that really is really nice, quite luxury to have that. That is, yes. yeah. Very, very Th good. Then from there we have a relaxing day at sea, and then we go into Jeju Island. Now again with Jeju Island, places again many of you probably haven't given to, haven't been to before. Stunning scenery here, the rock formations, the waterfalls. You've got the volcano, and it's something very, very different. But you're down into South Korea, uh, which again is a place of interest at the moment, of course. But uh, somewhere I really think if you get the opportunity to go there, um, my um, my brother-in-law Steve went there last year and has to stop talking about it. And really? he said it was really, really interesting when he went there. Then from there we have a chill-out day, and then going into Kobe, okay? And you've got an overnight in here. Now Kobe is famous for a number of different things. You've got the Kobe Tower, but the one thing you would do here it's famous for its meat, the Kobe meat, the oh, wagyu, it is, the it? wagyu. Yeah. Steaks course, now, yeah. they are my favourite steaks. And if you love mm. the steaks and you want to go, you've got an overnight there, so maybe try one of the restaurants and try that steak. It's something to die for. But again, you've got plenty of other places. You've got the Gut of Love uh, place. You've got many of other uh, sites to go and see there. But you've got an overnight from there. Then, if you want to go to Mount Fuji, that's our next destination because we're going to Shimizu, and that's the port of call we go to from there. And you've got the opportunity to go and see Mount Fuji again. Tours run from the ship, and a good way to do that for you. It's about an hour to go there to Mount Fuji, I definitely want and to it do is one of the yeah. sacred mountains, standing yeah. at 3,776 meters high. From there into Tokyo, and we've got two days, um, you've got an overnight on board, and then you've got a two-night stay. So you've actually got three days in Tokyo. You've got plenty of things to see here. And as I said, with this one, you've got the tower. I was in Tokyo myself, and it is, if, you, if you've not been to Tokyo before, it will blow your mind. It's modern, futuristic, constantly busy. But again, you can also go back and see the culture and the history of the local buildings and, and temples. But again, a trip up to the tower is very, very interesting. You've got Disneyland if you want to do something a little bit different. And of course, the Imperial Palace. Um, again, you're going to see and experience so many wonderful things on this one, yeah. aren't you? Yeah. Um, and only deposit all of the, um, the trips tonight, just a deposit needed to secure your place. So let's just remind you of, of some of the highlights of this one with Celebrity. So you have, of course, got the, the Wendy Wu four night escorted China tour. Then you've got a 14 night cruise. You're going to experience the Terracotta Warriors, Yew Gardens, the Bunters, as I mentioned. Uh, you've got quite a few hotel stays as well, uh, including, I mean, Tokyo at the end. I mean, that, that is going to be really, really special. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and all your return flights and your overnights on board there as well. Um, do you know actually when you start breaking down the price and what's included, that very is good. very good value, isn't it? 22 nights. Yeah. It's about 130 quid a night. Yeah. Really good. Bear in mind how much you're going to see and do. And again, um, the ID number for that one is 138045 uh, on board the Celebrity Millennium. And then our... I can't believe it's our final deal. It's five deals tonight, but they're big ones, aren't they? They are big ones. Yes. Yeah. And we are back to uh, Princess Cruises with the Diamond Princess. 
And now this is the Simtonite Snow Monkeys, isn't it? This is a snow. Now I didn't actually know what a snow monkey was until we started selling this. So this is a package that you're putting together on here. But this is really, really nice because we're going to have the cruise to start with. And then we've got the Wendy Woo package at the we end have. on this one. So this one we're going to fly into Tokyo and we're going to have a one night stay there just to start with. So again, you've got the opportunity to fly in and experience a little bit of Tokyo on there. But as I said, I think we have got a little bit longer at the, um, at the end on there. Well, let's have a little taster of, of Japan here. As I said, it's always busting when we were there. It's so, so interesting. I was fortunate enough to do a three-day land tour there and, 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 and we went at a great time of year. We went around March, April time with the Spring Blossom. Oh, that's, um, yeah. Which was, we were very, very fortunate to go to. And we did, we did the bullet train, which was, again, on my bucket list to go and see. And the culture it, it, is so, so different. It's so different to anywhere I've been to before. So that's why I say if you've got the opportunity to do it, please, you know, take this opportunity. Agreed. God. Yeah, Japan is so different. It is. Because yeah. I've never been again. Oh, haven't you? No. It, it's so modern and advanced. At the same time, it is so traditional. Yes. And so, yeah, different. And again, when we well. were there, we saw the geisha girls. They came in to, mm. to, to, and we got to experience, you know, and see them and, and learn about them. And there's so much history and culture there. It's, it is very, very interesting. I'd, I'd love to. I just don't get enough holiday glam, as you know. No, of course, no, <laughs> no. So this one's going to give. Don't I'm laugh. Just, just going to move on. Right, right. Yeah, we're going to come. So, on. so this one's going to give you an eight-day, eight-night cruise on the Diamond Princess, and again, a couple of couple of uh, days to relax from there, and then we go into um, Okinawa on here. So. We're going to start with Okinawa to start with, and again, you can see all the islands there in the in the Japanese uh, um, district that we have here. And again, with this one, you've got a chance to go and see some beautiful, beautiful landscapes. You've also got the huge aquarium. They've got a massive aquarium there. But look at some of the beaches you have there, just to relax and chill out. You don't. I don't think you ever sort of associate that with Japan, but you do have the opportunity yeah, to do that. And you've got Coral Lagoon Island, and you've got Okinawa Beach. So you've got plenty of things to do there, but you've also got some history and culture to go and see during your time there. And again all of these I think to me if you just take a tour on all of these because you want you're only there one day you yeah. want to see as much as you possibly can then we go to Ishi Ishigaki yes thank well you very done, much well thank done. you very much been practicing on that one since three o'clock this afternoon <laughs> now again this is another chance where you've got a chance to go out on some of the beaches you can go diving you can go surfing they've also got the beautiful rare blue coral reef that you've got a chance to do your snorkeling and swimming there which i would thoroughly recommend um, and then from there we go down into the capital of taiwan into taipei and from here, you've got the city tower, you've got the city tour. We were talking about Taipei earlier that you'll recommend if you're there for the day to take the city, city tour. tour. Yes. With mm -hmm. a guide to give you as much information as yes. they possibly can. Yes. That's good advice. Then two days at sea, and this is what I'm saying, we come back into Tokyo here, and we've got a two night stay, so you've got the opportunity to see Tokyo in more, uh, more detail there, and we've talked about that already. And from there, this is all part of the Wendy Wu package. No tours included in the two night stay, they've just got a chance to relax. Yeah, relax and also explore, because in Tokyo, there's so much to see and so much to experience. For example, you have the Cat, cat Cafe, do you know anything about, no. about the Cats Cafe? Yeah, yeah, I've yeah. Seen that, yeah. Oh, is that yeah. where? Well, obviously, yeah. all, all cats, cats are. Yeah, yes, yeah. Yes, because uh, Tokyo is so limited with space, and not many people have the space for pets. So you can go to this type of cafe to be near. I cats, love that. Like I the cat. cats. Yeah. You will be surrounded by cats while you are having coffee. That's one. And of course, you also have this uh, robot, robot cafe, yes. which oh, is just yes. so modern and futuristic. And then in the evening, if you are free, you can go and join all these teenagers crazy about the music and just dancing all night. Just watch them. Everybody <laughs> wants to watch them, what they're doing. <laughs> yes. yes. So that's uh, all the things you can do in Tur Tokyo. Yeah. That's one. But then, really, it's for you to explore because uh, Tokyo is relatively easy to move yeah. around. Yeah, is it? Oh, okay. yes. yeah. And, then, and, and then we've got all of your tours, haven't we, yes, next? Yes. The next one, the most exciting one, is actually go to see the snow monkeys. Yes. Yeah. So we, we go so by. So here we go. Yeah, look at it. They're yeah. just chilling out, relaxing. Yeah. Oh, my word. Yes. And you can actually, they are very used to human. They are actually so let you be close to them and ob observe them. They just carry on like with our their office. own. <laughs> <laughs> they are, it's John Grimes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. They're, They're very so chill, don't they? Yes. <laughs> very chilled and very, very cute. Very, very adorable. And so. you get you get quite up close and personal with yes, them as well. Yes, because good. they are just very used to that'd and be, very friendly. That'd be fabulous with yes. that. So we go to the monkey park and then from there yeah. we're going up to, to go and see Mount Fuji, is that correct? Yeah. And also another thing though before that is that we actually stay at uh, Rokun, which is uh, the
the j traditional Japanese inn. Oh yes, because we have a night this. there, don't yeah. we? Yes. We will have one night there, and we go to the next destination, also stay in the local traditional Rangkong. So you really get to experience, yeah, experience the local yeah. culture. That's, uh, yeah. And then from that, we go to the fifth uh, uh, station, yeah. which is really the highest you can go with, uh, with uh, uh, vehicle. And yeah. then you get to have a beautiful view and do lots of walking around. Yeah. And then from there, we take the bullet train yeah. to Kyoto. Kyoto. Which Kyoto is possibly no. most people's most favorite place. Exactly. Now, I did the bullet train, and it, and it was, as I said, something I've always wanted to go. I'm not sure what the top speed is. Is it something like about 400? Yes. It's a, yes, it's, um, 370 kilometers. Yeah. And it's just very fast and it's fascinating. Yes. Yeah. And, and, and then once you get to Kyoto, it's really just everything you dream about Japan is all there. Yes. The Golden Pavilion. I was just looking there. Yeah, yes. the Nishu Castle we went to as well, which yes. was amazing to walk around there. And That's as right. I said, you, with the guides that you have, they really bring it to That's life. That's the Golden right? Pavilion. That's yeah. the Golden Pavilion, yeah. 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 And then you also go to the other uh, Yoro uh, Muchi, Muchu, that um, temple. Yeah. It's once again, it's another UNESCO World Heritage listing. And uh, yeah, so the area is very, very much well preserved. Yeah, the old ancient time. Because, I think. Yeah. I think what we find, if I'm talking about from when I go on holiday, I don't always like to be with the tours because I like doing my own thing. But I think when you're going to these parts of the world, if you don't go on a tour and you just walk, you're going to miss out Course. and you're not going to realise. So you want them to bring it to life, don't you? You really want the them to. The very best sort of, thing. Yeah. yeah. And you may only, you know, travel to this part of the world once in your life. You exactly. Say, so you really want to make the yeah. most of it. Yeah. Um, now it has been. It's been a really special show tonight. Um, I think we've all learnt a lot, but we are going to recap everything we've seen. But before we do, let's just have a look at what was included in this Princess Cruise. It's the 70 Night Snow Monkeys, uh, Mount Fuji in tropical Japan. Uh, so you get six nights escorted, uh, say uh, nights the, of the Japan Land Tour, and an eight night cruise. Um, wonderful stays on this one, of course, as well. You get to see those uh, the snow monkeys. They did look, they look mega cute. Didn't yeah, they? they did. Yeah, yeah. Um, and all of your return flights, of course, as well. And selected meals included on the tour. And the ID number of this one is one six nine seven three seven. But we are going to recap everything. And, and and this whole show has been about really experiencing the Far East and seeing it at its very best because every every offer tonight includes a great cruise but the Wendy Wu tours yeah and that makes it not just easy but as you say you, you cherry pick all of the best, best things sites. to see and do the best sites yeah. yeah and also often combined with countryside and also the very well known place uh, together yes. to give the best experience yeah. And also really get into deep into the country and the people. Well, this is it. I think I think we do a lot of these these sort of far east cruises, and they go to the standard ports of call, which are great. But this really gets you more in, involved, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah, with the people, with the culture. With I just the I just want to ask because it's something we always get asked. What about visas? Yes, now, I was going to ask that. Especially China, people always are concerned about doing that. But you actually do them for them, don't you? You can yes. do them for them. Yes, we 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 have a team just take care of people's visa. Yeah, and so that's there's a our charge to do it, and obviously they pay for their visas, but yes. to me, if I'm paying for something like this to China, I'd want to make sure that these guys do it, they know you're going to get the right visa, and they can do that for them. Yes. And we should say that all the offers tonight are exclusive to Planet Cruises, they are, aren't they? Yeah, and as I said, we've got little things in each one of them, haven't we, to Which make it a little special. bit different. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Uh, anyway, let's, um, let's just recap mm -hmm. uh, the five offers that we had this evening. So we started off with... Uh, the oh god the the biggie didn't we yeah, yeah. yes <laughs> this is this is the real biggie this is the uh, the twenty three night uh, fifteen night wonders of China tour and the Southeast Asia this is our biggest well. seller for China is it really yeah, biggest seller, most yeah. popular tour most popular, yeah. or the best thing put together exactly if yeah. you go to China only once that's the only time you have then it's kind of the ultimate the bucket list this one yes, isn't it is. it? yeah Correct. so you've got say the 50 night escorted wonders of china tour a five night cruise uh it stays in we've got beijing uh, we have shanghai hong kong a four night river cruise as well you've got guiling in there which is one of the highlights. yes that really did sound nice it's very it? special that area um, yes and obviously, Shanghai. you're going to get to see the, the yes, to Shanghai, yes, the Great Wall, not all of it, as we mentioned, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, the Terracotta Warriors, and so much more. 
and all of your meals are included on the tour and did you say entertainment as well yes evening entertainment right and yeah. tips as well yes. yeah on the actual land part of this so uh, the id number has disappeared one again <laughs> God, what is it? do you remember it yeah of course i do there it is oh well done yeah one six seven zero three zero um amazing value when you break down what's included there yeah and that really was it, that all the boxes on there yeah i think we then moved on to royal caribbean i think we had uh voyager of the seas this is 16 nights off to see uh sean's relatives in the orangutans <laughs> in borneo and this is a staying cruise this is on the 24th of february 19 five night escorted borneo land tour which is i said uh, again another place many of you won't have been to before plus the seven night cruise you've got the orangutan sanctuary and the sun bear conservation sanctuary two nights in singapore Ref return flights from london but we can look at other airports for you and overnights on board in phuket and then we it's one seven two two one one was the id oh well done thank you, thank you. Mm -hmm. um then we moved on to uh, the Princess Cruise uh, on board the uh, S uh, Sapphire Princess on this one. Um, Wendy, just remind us, what are the highlights on this one? That's the Angkor Wat and the Angkor Tom and the plus the Temperang Temples, the finest temples in Sand Rip. That is uh, um, wonderful. And uh, I'm still thinking about that street food as well. Yep. <laughs> I'm not eating, I'm not eating today. That's my problem. Uh, and I've got to say, I think the price on this one, you know, if you're on a bit, maybe a bit of a smaller budget, that is amazing value. Really £2,000. I think that one will really sell quickly tonight. Uh, the idea of this one is uh, 168327. I thought I'd get that out before then you we, said it, Claire. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> then we went on to Celebrity Cruises. This is the cruise over to the Terracotta Warriors in Shanghai, Beijing to Tokyo. The 14-night cruise plus the four-night escorted China tour. You've got the Terracotta Warriors, the Yu Gardens and Bun Tours. Two-night stay in Jiayan, Shanghai and Tokyo. Return flights from the UK and two overnights uh, for Beijing. And that's yeah. where you can really get to see as much as you can. And then our final cruise tonight was uh, another one with Princess and it's on board the Diamond Princess. Mm -hmm. Your chance of seeing the snow monkeys, Mount Fuji, tropical Japan there. Uh, six nights are escorted there with Windy Wood Tours and then you've actually got the eight night cruise. But some wonderful experiences in that one. So I've, I've uh, never been to Japan but no. everyone says outstanding it's definitely. Experience. And you want to do, you don't just want to go into one of the two of the ports, you want to do a bit of the land tour as well. Yeah. Um, now, Everything tonight is exclusive with Planet Cruise, so the groups will be separate, won't yeah, they? Yeah, groups will be separate, yeah, and as I said, we're looking after them that way. Yeah, yes. exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, Wendy, thank you so much. Thank you, Sean. And uh, mm -hmm. I think what's been really nice, to, a lot of our regulars, they, they look at the Far East and they, yeah. they, they spend a lot of time thinking, but sometimes don't know no. how to plan it, what to see. It, get, it can be a bit overwhelming, but with your tours, it makes it really easy, doesn't it? Yes, yeah, seamless. And our job is to make sure our customers are very well looked after every step of the way. Everything is so easy and smooth. All they need to do is the packing. Yeah. Well, oh, yes. Well, uh, what a great team. Windy Wooters, Planet Cruise. Thank you. Um, I won't be with you for a few weeks because I will be on my cruise. Sorry. <laughs> but, Wendy, thank you so much. Glenn, don't thank miss you. me too much. No, I won't. I'll see you when you get back. <laughs> yes. Thank you, um, Thank you so much, Wendy. <laughs> uh, but do tune in next week because we have got a great show. Take care. Hi everyone, thanks very much for watching the video. Please don't forget to comment and subscribe below and remember to click the bell to get those notifications turned on. And if you're looking for more fantastic travel content like this, then click on the videos to the right, it will be really, really informative. Or you can click on the Planet logo to the left and go to our website for some really fantastic goods. Thanks for watching.